Hello, my welcome back to my channel, guys. Before I start working on the Ford, please help me subscribe to my channel, click that bell notification so every time I have a new video, you guys will be updated. But I'm working on a uh, 2019 Ford Fusion uh, 2.0. So right now, the uh, um, AB li uh, ABS light code is for the uh, wheel speed sensor. So right now, earlier, you see it was on and then it turns off by itself. Uh, so when I read the code for the ABS, it says the uh, front left wheel speed sensor is current code. So uh, sometime it would turn on for like about five seconds and then it'll turn off. Like even if on like uh, um, idle right now, um, sometime it'll turn on for like 10 seconds. It could be five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, and then it turns off by itself. And then when I take it for a drive, it, it goes away. And then sometime it will pop up real quick and then the ABS light will turn off right away. It says uh, service traction control and everything. And then like sometime it will stay on for like 20 seconds while driving and then it turns off by itself. So right now it doesn't um, um, turn on right now, but earlier um, it was on. Let me see, let me try to turn it off, turn it back on again, see if it like stay on. Turn the steering wheel a little bit. I'm trying to get it to uh, turn it back on again. Now I'm gonna reverse the car and then drive the car forward, reverse it and then drive it forward. I'm gonna show you the data on here for the uh, left front wheel speed sensor. So it's 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 reading the speed that I'm going. It's the it's it's accurate, but it's just intermittent. Sometimes it would turn on the light, turn off the ABS light. So I'm just gonna put in reverse, focus that one. I'm gonna the speed's gonna increase. There you go. It reads the same speed as the rear one too. Um, I'm going forward, brake. See, you see how it's reading evenly with all the other one too. So the uh, it's it's reading the accurate speed, but it's just intermittent with the light. Sometimes it turn on, turn off. That's it. And there you go. You can see I'm taking it on the uh, test drive, and the light turns on. But you turn back. So sometime it would turn off by itself. Sometime it will stay on for about a minute or two or after I come to a come to a complete stop and turn off the car. It's just acting up. Let's see if it does it. stop you see that when I come to a complete stop it turns off by itself so the uh, light the uh, not the light but the uh, wheel speed sensor is intermittent the signal so uh, I'm gonna replace the um, um, wheel speed sensor now I have my new parts here this is the uh, part number for the uh, wheel speed sensor this is OEM from Ford uh, ABS speed sensor this is the sensor, that's how it looks like from Ford original. So uh, for the, um, I wanna back this out. For the uh, front left, you're gonna take out the wheels. You're gonna see the uh, wheel speed sensor right away. Uh, you're gonna take out this 10 millimeter right here. Yeah, take that out. Take out the speed sensor. The uh, XO boot is ripping all the grease. You can see it's ripping, all the grease is coming out. Um, and then, for the uh, line here, you're gonna take off the bracket. Hey Get this one off. Hey and then uh, for the uh, connector, you're gonna press on this tab on this side, and then you're gonna pull on this side. There you go. That's my uh, old one. And then since you're here, you wanna check for the uh, pin on the connector. Make sure the pin inside here is not uh, damaged, bent, or corroded. Check the wires in the back here. Make sure it's not broken or ripped. If it's good, just go ahead and install the new one. My uh, new wheel speed sensor, it comes with a bracket, but I don't need the bracket. So I'm gonna take the bracket out because I already have the bracket up here. If you wanna change out the bracket, you gotta take out the sway bar. So I'm not gonna do that. I already have the bracket here. So I'm gonna put this back to the spot there you go oh i faced it the wrong way it's the other way it's this way 
Okay, here is better on the outer one. And then, nope. On the inner one. I'll get on the inner one. So there's two slots, one outside, one inside. So I'm gonna hook it on the inside. Put this over here. And then I'm just gonna take a quick look inside, make sure there's nothing inside. The uh, ABS uh, speed sensor hole. So I'm just gonna, that's kinda dirty. It hits the grease. So I'm gonna wipe it real quick. I don't want any grease on here. Go. Put it back. There you go. And then I'm gonna reconnect my uh, connector. So I got my sensor in already. Tighten down the uh, 10 millimeter. I plug back the uh, connector already. It's good. So it's just tighten down the wheel to 75 to 80 foot pound. Have the uh, key on. I'm gonna show you the code again before I clear it. So ABS right there. Code. Now you can see it, it says code is not current. Earlier when the uh, ABS lights is on, it says current, but now it says not current because the light is not on. But uh, I'm gonna clear it anyways to make sure. I'm gonna go down, clear it, and then I'm gonna take it out for a test drive. I'm gonna take it out for about a mile test drive because uh, with the old sensor, it only take about like 30 seconds to a minute for the ABS light to uh, kick on. So right now I'm gonna go for a test drive. So I've been test driving uh, one miles already. It was at 38, now it's at 39. Test driving it. I'll let you guys know the update after I'm done. So let me show you, I'm gonna come to a complete stop. Earlier, when I come to a complete stop, the ABS light comes on. You can see I come to a stop and nothing. Problem is solved, it's good. Oh, it's at the uh, two, uh, I drove two miles already, so it's at 40. Uh, still no light, nothing, so the problem is solved, guys. So. Uh, I know people I should be recording and driving I know I know I'm wrong but uh just showing you guys a video so uh that is it for this video guys so if you guys are new to my channel please help me subscribe if you guys have any comment question comment down below ask me anything you want to ask me I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible but uh don't mind I'll see y'all in the next video